Okay, so I said I was gonna do a video on my surgery, and that's what I'm doing. It's one of my vlogging videos. So if you don't like smacking and all that, get up off here. Cause I can't help it. Um I had Lipo 360 slash BBL. I was only gonna get Lipo. They was like they gonna throw the fat away. Why not use it? Um so I had a fat transfer from stomach to the butt to the hip. Whatever. My hair chopped off. Um, okay. So, I had it September 7th. Today is November 30th. I don't know if y'all can see. It's November 30th, so almost three months close. I know I ain't got my garment on. I'm hard here. I'm gonna put it on so I go to sleep though. I don't wear my eyes 24 7. I don't. Um, let me see. Okay, so my doctor was Dr. Abir at Seduction Cosmetics. Um, originally I had. Robertson. When I got that, it was like, well, I put that in my paperwork. I had pre op the same day as my surgery. When I filled out my paperwork, I did all that. It didn't take long. Like, they called me straight back. Like, I got there like, at eight, I think. And they called me straight back. Like, it was other people in there. I don't know. I ain't had to do me better get me in and out. So, when I went, I was scared. Like, well, I, I was scared while I was fin filling out the paper. I'm just like, okay. Like, this is really finna happen. Like, cause you know, you be hearing people be dying and stuff, but they be having other health issues. So, um, I was filling out my paperwork. And then they put me in this room. They gave me a gown, a hair neck, some sh like some, what is it called that you put your feet in? They gave me some compression socks. And told me to put all my stuff in the bag. I think I had like, couple dollars i ain't gonna say a couple i had a couple hundred dollars because i ain't know like when you get that they try to make you pay for all this stuff but anyways so i did that the anesthesi the anesthesiologist came and talked to me and you know she was like you gonna be okay whatever you know she was nice when dr beer came in and marked me up you know she was just like oh you're so tiny she grabbed my stomach like this because I had like a little fat. Like my stomach was big. It was like, it was just baby fat basically. I didn't have enough for uh, um, tummy tuck. So she was like, yeah, I'm going to get you right. Because she do aggressive life all like right now my stomach is still just like my, my muscles ain't relaxed yet. And that's why I be covering up my belly button because it looks funny. Because my muscles ain't like relaxed. But it's, it looked it worse than not worse. It wasn't bad like in a bad way. But it was like my stomach looked like this. Like an oatmeal cake. But it was tight. It went loose. But she, her lipo, she did good. Like I don't have no, I don't have no fat. Like none. Like it's so tight. And she got it from, I eat so bad. She got it from like under my arms. Like because I was bruised up under my arms, my upper back, my my middle back, if that makes sense, my lower back. Like she she did good with the lipo. She got all she can and then she, I asked for a projection and hips. So like I got like this and then I but I ain't want no big big but like I want it to match my legs. And it matched my legs. Like if I would have got it 
you know, been like, oh, Jermaine, he, he want to look, I want to look like I ain't, I ain't want to look like this, so, like, see, like, it fit me, like, I got on the good bro, and then, see, like, it is good stuff, but yeah, I got on the good bro, or whatever, but she did real good with that life oak, and then, like, stand up, so, like, you supposed to compress, because you see how I got this right here, and it left, it kind of leave a mark, but my muscles relaxing, like, my stomach looking better and better, and I'm going to insert pictures and stuff, like, when I was waiting, and I had already been marked up or whatever, and then I'm going to insert, you know, when I left, so, this is what I look like. My drawers came in my butt. But like, I'm trying to move my head out the way. Like, I don't know if y'all can see. But like, she did good because I didn't have no butt. You know, she got me what I asked for. She gave me my hip, like, she gave me my hip. She gave me a little bit. I said a little bit more projection. I ain't say a lot. She gave me that. And like, it looked good. It looked natural. That's what I wanted. But like, see, I still have some. Like, I I want to say it's swelling, but like, I need to compress. I gotta put that on before I go to bed. But like, I had my belly button pierced at the top, but. I took it out when I got pregnant, so I think that's why that's right there. But, like, other than that, she did good. Like, I used to have, like, a roll right here. Like, it hurt a little bit. But, like, she did her thing. Like, it itch. I'm sorry, y'all. But, like, you can see, like, the incision where it is at it's like right here and then I got one in between my butt I got my pants pulled up high that's my bra right there like I had like a roll like roll roll like I ain't look but she did me good she got me where I wanted to be see what I'm saying I gotta go compress. And, uh, yeah. She did. Like, yeah. I'm gonna insert some before and after pictures. Um, but, yeah, as far as, like, them being like, they was nice, it was fast. My experience was good. Um, what else? When I got in now. Yeah, she marked me up a little bit. I talked to the anesthesiologist. Um, and then I went in now in the surgery room. And it was like, I guess the assistant and stuff. They laid me on the bed. And I was like this, laid on the thing. And I was just like, my heart was beating so fast. They put an IV in my hand. I think it was this hand because it was hurting afterwards. Like, and she was like, well, you may feel some cold. When she put in the ID, like, my body got cold. And I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, I'm really going to do this. Like, I was like, oh, my God. And, like, I kept getting sleepy. And I, I kept fighting it. But it was, I knew it was the anesthesia trying to put me to sleep. Like, I just kept fighting it. I'm like, fuck, I ain't fucked up. Like, that's all I can say. Because I got a baby over there. Why got a boy get old? She'll be two December 15th. But anyway. I'm like, damn, should I really have done this? <laughs> like, I hope I wake back up. And this thing, I was just like, I don't know what happened, what went on. Um, what else? Um, I woke up. When I woke up, I was on my butt. I was laying like this. And it's like, it ain't hurt, but it was like burning. And like, it was burning. And then I, it was too real on the side of the bed. I did like this and pulled it over. 
I guess the nurse, she saw me, she was like, oh, you want to you lay on your stomach? I was like, yeah. I was like, my butt don't feel right. Then I, I, I don't know if I went back out. I just went back to sleep. I don't know. I got back up, and then I, I guess the anesthesia was wearing off. I got back up, and I flipped over on my stomach. They was like, oh, you moving already? You doing good? I was like, I don't know. My butt don't feel right. They was, and then when I turned over, they was like, oh, you look good, mommy. Your butt look good. I'm like, man, can I go? It's like, you can't go until you wake all the way up. So I'm trying to get up. I'm just trying to move. Um, at that point, I started getting out the bed, like sliding down. The lady was like, where you going? I'm like, well, I'm ready to go with my boyfriend. And they was like, he's out there, but you have to let it wear off. Stuff like that. And I'm like, well, it's wore it's off. I'm ready to go. I want to eat. And she was like, you going to eat? And she's like, if you can stand up and get in this wheelchair, I'll let you go. Yeah, what I did, stood up and got in the wheelchair. When I got in the wheelchair, I'm like, my butt felt so funny. Like, I'm like, dang. Like, it felt, it ain't hurt. It felt tight. Like, so I get up, um, get in the wheelchair. I'm like, I guess it felt funny. I ain't in my stomach. No one hurt. It wasn't nothing hurt. So I get out there, my boyfriend got my medicine, I let, he like, you okay? I didn't cuss him, it's my ex, he ain't my boyfriend no more, but anyway, I didn't cuss him out, cause he, he like to be, he like to be funny and stuff, you okay? I told you not to do it, whoop de whoop de whoop, like, shut up, like, goodbye. Anyway, so, we get in the car, I'm in the clip, right here. She <laughs> <laughs> all the way there, I'm saying. It did not hurt. It was like I was dead weight. That's what I feel like. Dead weight. I feel paralyzed. So we get to the hotel. He get me out the car. He talking. What it feel like? What it I like, nigga, you go get it. And he said, like, I don't know the feeling. He like, I'm just trying to make sure you okay. Like, it was bad because he kept like messing with me. He like, I told you not to do it. And I I'm like, I'm not even mad that I'm doing it. You asking me how I feel. I don't know how I feel. Leave me alone. So, anyways, we got to the hotel or whatever. I ate. And I was up walking around. We ended up going walking on, like, this little strip. Because we was, like, in Miami. I, don't, I forgot what part. We hadn't went to the beach. We didn't went everywhere. That's why I say it didn't hurt. It's not a process. As long as you up and walking to eat, you good. But if you lay in that bed, this is this, this what you're going to feel like. Because I lay down, I'm like, bro, uh -uh, I got to get up. I'm not going to lay in this bed like this. And then, you know, you can take a shower the first night. So, I laid after the dog pad because of fluid. But I ain't leaked that much. Like, then, like, there wasn't nothing on them. Nothing. Like, it was something on my file. Insert. I'm, you know, I'm be inserting stuff throughout the video. But other than that, I ain't had no fluid. Like, I was good. For real, for real. I ain't need no. <laughs> so, the second day, I went back and got my massage. <clears throat> them was up I can't even talk them massages ain't no whole life okay so I get in there first of all they had me on a small um file off, like off the table like they had me on a small the lady was like this you don't supposed to be in a small right she was she speak she barely speak in she's like you know I'm supposed to be in a small right now it's kind of hard to get it off they had to go get two people to help them get it off Cause whoever put it on me, I, they said I was supposed to be in like a medium. But I was in a small. I don't even think I was supposed to be in a medium. Because they gave me, ended up putting me in a large after I got my massage. And they let me keep the small or whatever. But that mold stuck on me like the second day. I went to get my massage. Like it, they was tugging and pulling. So then I laid down. Because she like, you know, I, I'm naked. She's like, okay, I'm going to... Um, I laid on my, uh, well, I laid on my stomach first, I think. And then I did my back, then I flipped over. I ain't really had no fluid. She, she opened my, uh, she ain't open. She just cut the stitches off. And she was just like, you know, I ain't nothing coming out. You good, whatever. Ooh, but when she started massaging, it felt good at the end, like when you was done. But while she was doing that, I kept, like, I kept passing out. She kept giving me some alcohol on this thing. And she was like, smell this. Stay with me. And she told me to stand up so she can in the front. When I I couldn't even stand up, like it was so bad. Like she had to call a nurse down. 
Like, them was us that so bad. Like, so bad. Like, that was the worst. Like, the massages. Even after I had left and came back home, and I went and got the massage from the lady over there. Oh, my God. Like, I was just like, it hurts so bad. Like, it hurts so bad. Worse than the surgery. She was like, I'm sorry, Mommy. Mommy? You look good, Mommy. Fuck that. Baby, I don't feel you. That shit hurts. So then, you know, I let... I know y'all like, I don't know if I skipped over some stuff, but that's what happened when I went ahead for real. And I'm, I had September 7th from, what's the year? Shit, I don't know, November 30th. Yeah, I'm gonna have to insert some videos and stuff, cuz. No, I don't smoke. <laughs> Cause someone is asking you do I smoke. No, I do not smoke. But anyways, like the whole process, it was smooth for me. I mean, for me it was. I mean, you know, I was good. Like, and then like they say, your results. Like when I was off the table, fresh off the table, yeah, you be big. That's cause you swallow. Then it go down. Like, I wasn't really paying attention to my results. Like, like right now. You know, I mean, like, right now, my butt look real big. Not real big, but it matched by the head. But, like, I don't be paying, because they say you don't see your results like five months later or something like that. But, like, fresh out the table, you big, you swole wide, your butt big and swole. Then, like, Two weeks later, like it looked like I ain't even have surgery, but people was like, you know, then and I, people say, oh, you got a pretty shape, whoop the whoop. Like, now, when I was like looking at stuff and they was like, yeah, when I eat or whatever, it go to my butt now. So, like, my results good. I'm glad I didn't get it big, big. Because I told her I just want to lift the hips and hips. My hips look good, butt look good. I got that shape, you know what I'm saying? My boobs is already perfect. Just gotta put on a good bra. Like, it's there. Cause I ain't got no boobs. Then I'm gonna show y'all some pictures of me. Like, see, it's a, it's like a natural boob. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera this way and walk for y'all. Don't mind my hair stuff on spot. You see it, my hair. See what I mean? Like, it's not too much. She gave me that shape. <laughs> Getting that gym, that race training, and I like smile your waist and stuff, cause you know the mold your hips and stuff gonna pop. But I ain't trying to get it too small, cause it, it look good right now. Like it look real good. my results my you know everybody's different some people say down they lose theirs they fat die mine didn't so far and you gotta feed the fat you can't starve yourself you gotta feed the fat so 
and I eat a lot, so I'm happy. That's why I can't. <laughs> I'm happy with my results. Of course, you're gonna get your food. Yeah. So that's that. Um, right now, I'm in the size small by her because you wanna. I'm gonna try to get an extra small or get that one took in some more. But, because I, you know. I'm praying for more, but, um, yeah, I'm just inserting some pieces over there, one. If y'all got any questions, you come in. I'ma answer them. I ain't no secret. Seduction Cosmetics, Dr. Abir Soft, I think that's how you say her last name, Lipo BBL, Lipo Everywhere, I ask for a little, a little more projection and hips. Um, that was it. It was a smooth process. I went September the not September the seventh. I went, came back home September the twelfth. Could have came back on the tenth, you know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to make sure when nothing wrong with me. Um, we were good. You know, I went back to work September nineteenth or. 21st one of them days and I work at a dialysis clinic so you move and move in 24 7 I was all right I sat on my BBL pillow I don't sit on it now because Dr. Abir told me I could sit on my butt in three weeks that's what she told me maybe I guess it depends on your size I don't know that's what she told me a lot of people say oh you can't sit my doctor told me three weeks and after three weeks, I still ain't sit on. I sat on the pillow. So that was she told me. I don't know. Maybe everybody's different. You know what I'm saying? I went in at 148 pounds. I don't know what I weigh now. I ain't been on no scale since. I think she said I was five, six or five, seven, 148 pounds. So I could have gained more weight if I wanted a bigger butt, but I ain't want no bigger butt. You know what I'm saying? I want something to make my legs. So, if you want that big old and you weigh 148, you ain't about 10 more pounds. That's you. Know. But, my experience is great. My results are great. I love them. I'm just like, they get better by the day. So, imagine me. Let me see. New Year's. And for New Year's, I think I'm wearing this like leather dress. It's short, it ain't short, but it's short. Leather long sleeve with my boots. They long. They come up to my, I think it's my thigh. Yeah. They shape like that. <laughs> but for real, if y'all got any questions on my surgery, anything, anything about it, come in. And I answer it. Because I don't care. I ain't no secret. I don't know why people try to keep a secret. Then want you to pay me off the information and all that. But that's so unnecessary. Ask me, I answer it. In the comments, you ain't gotta email me none of that. Just ask me. So, like I said, I'm gonna insert little clips and stuff. That was my baby that y'all saw just all over the place. So. Thanks for watching. And let the vlogmas video continue. I gotta get used to this. See, I know I just saw the YouTube like a couple days ago. But hey, con hey. Consensus, consistency is the key. And we'll see y'all in oh, we'll see y'all in our next video. Well, I don't know if she's gonna see y'all. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Bye -bye.